Let me guess, you have three lectures to watch, an exam coming up, and only one free evening. So what do you do? You crank up that lecture speed to 2x or maybe 2.5x and hope that you get everything sorted. But is this a smart choice or are you maybe fooling yourself? My name is Tom Vossler, also known as The Study Coach, and I help students and working professionals with science-backed learning, time management, and mindset methods in order to improve their mental and physical health and improving their academic and professional performance. Let's break down what science says about watching your lectures at double speed and whether you're learning or just wasting time. We're going to discuss the findings in this study called Learning in Double time the effect of lecture speed on immediate and delayed comprehension so here's what happened during the pandemic i think pre-recorded lectures or recordings of lectures became normal and most students almost 85 percent at ucla where the research was performed said that they watched the lectures at an increased speed that's a lot of students so researchers at ucla they thought okay cool but does this actually work? So they run a few experiments and we're going to run through these experiments and I'm going to share my thoughts and my findings based on this research. So they had 231 students. They had two lectures, one on the Roman Empire and one on real estate. I know really mixed topics, but they used it. And students were split into different groups. All right, one group was normal speed group. The second group was 1.5 speed group. We had a 2x speed group and a 2.5x speed group. They were not allowed to make any notes and they were also not allowed to pause the video in between. Then they tested the students with a questionnaire right after watching the video and one week later. Here's what they found in the simplest version and the simplest explanation. Immediately after watching the video, the normal speed group, they had 26 correct answers. The 1.5 and the 2x speed group, they had about the same. 25 correct answers but the 2.5 group they scored significantly worse 22 correct answers after a week they gave them another test and the normal speed group scored 24 correct answers the 1.5 or the two and the two X group, they scored 21 correct answers and the 2.5 group scored 20 correct answers. So the conclusion that they draw there is that watching at 2X speed doesn't hurt that much, at least for simple topics. Going above the 1.5 or the 2X speed does make things fall apart. This has to do with something that we call a cognitive load theory. That basically means how much information and at what pace can your brain still process information? If there's too much information coming in at a high speed, your brain cannot process it. That's what they found with the 2.5x speed group. So you might ask, is double speed safe? Here's the deal. Up to 2x speed, you're mostly fine for short-term learning. Let me repeat that again. Up to 2x speed, you're mostly fine for short-term learning. But for long-term retention, it's not great, right? They saw that the first group with the lower the normal speed, they scored good points even after a week and if you go faster 2.5x your brain starts drowning so we want to prevent that just imagine that you're at a buffet right you're eating at a normal pace you enjoy the food and you feel full eating at 2x speed <laughs> you're still getting the nutrients just faster but eating at two and a half x speed you're stuffing your face and probably missing even half of the things that you taste and you'll forget what you even ate. So it's the same thing with learning. Then the part that most people miss, and this is my take on a couple of things here. Here's what the article doesn't say clearly enough. Speed watching works only if you use the time that you save for reviewing the material. So one of the experiments had students watch once at normal speed or watch twice at 2x speed. Guess what? They scored the same right after. So same speed, 2x speed, did a test, scored the same right after. In another test, watching one group 
at normal speed versus a group watching at 2x speed and then again watching it at 2x speed one week later, the 2x group did better on the delayed test. But in my opinion, that is easy to justify or clarify because this has to do with indeed the short term retention. The 2x speed group that watched it right before the one week test, they got the information provided again. And if we look at the forgetting curve, which I'll put on screen here, you see that knowledge retention drops really fast. But if we then repeat it slightly before the exam, it can spike again, right? So that's an easy explanation why this group scored relatively higher on that second take. The other thing that it has to do most likely is with the fact of repetition. The first group only saw it once, the other group saw it twice. Given the fact that at a 2x speed, there is no real reduction of comprehension, this group just saw it twice with probably better uh, amounts of retention, right? So double speed plus review later will be greater than just watching once at normal speed. So are you following with me? Watching once at normal speed, for example, spending one hour is less effective than watching something now for 30 minutes and then a week later for 30 minutes, right? That has to do with based repetition as well as spiking again your knowledge retention after a week. These are my recommendations about what you should do. Tip number one, it's watching new material at 1.5 or 2x speed only if it's not too complex. So if it's a subject you already know or something that's easy to follow, then go for it. But if it's a topic or something that is like organic chemistry or microeconomics and you find it hard, keep it slower. Your brain needs the time to build the understanding for this topic. Number two is to pause, reflect and recall. So if you speed through without stopping to ask, what did I just learn? You're not learning. Use active recall, pause the video and summarize in your own words what you just learned. So again, we have a one hour time block for studying. Normal students watch the video at normal pace for one hour and then need to do the active recalling. Like what did I learn? What are the five steps, et cetera, et cetera. Now you have your one hour study block. You watch the video at 2x speed. It probably takes you half an hour, but you can use that half an hour to indeed pause it in between, ask yourself questions, write down in your own words what you've learned, draw connections, relationship, and actively engaging with the material. So tip number three is use the time you save wisely. The whole point of watching faster is to save time but not to skip effort. So use that extra time to review with quizzes and practice questions. Don't think, ha, huh, I've now learned faster by watching it at 2x speed. No, you need to use that time that you saved in order to recall the information. Tip number four is to never go above the 2x speed. This isn't a race and watching at 2x speed might feel productive, but science shows your memory is tanking at that level. With the cognitive load theory, your brain cannot process information that fast and at that pace. Tip number five is to use it as a tool and not a shortcut, all right? So the goal isn't to finish all the videos, the goal is to learn. So speeding up the videos that can help you, but only if you follow it up with real learning strategies, such as spaced repetition and active recalling. We have a bunch of videos on our channel about these topics. So here are some final thoughts. Watching things at 2x speed won't make you dumb, okay? But thinking that it replaces studying or learning, that will. So fast doesn't mean focused and efficient doesn't mean effective. So the next time you're about to hit that 2x speed, ask yourself, am I watching it just to finish it or to actually understand it? And that will make a difference in your intention to watch the video. Because if you focus with more attention you'll be able to comprehend the material faster then you relearn it by active recall so if you want more science back study advice like this then hit that subscribe button and join my free community the link is in the bio uh, we've got free courses weekly life coaching sessions and support from people all over the world if you want to give our paid program a try it's a seven day free trial link is in the description as well don't just study harder you want to study smarter and in my last video i answered the most common questions that I get as a study coach. So you can check that out here. 